gentleman from Illinois is recognized. Mr. Speaker, the basic premise of this bill is that the federal government can set safety st standards and the states can enforce it. So I'm going to turn my, so reject the motion to instruct. I'm going to turn my comments to people who live in the coal areas of our country. Coal is just not a commodity product. It's really a, a way of lifestyle if you live in, in coal country. I'm a four-generation Lithuanian uh, immigration family. My great-grandfather went directly into the coal fields. My grandfather went into the coal mines at age 10. He performed the job of a trapper. In my hometown of Collinsville, Illinois, we have Miners Theater. In the community up north, we have Miners Park. And in Gillespie, Illinois, we have Black Diamond Days. Coal is a culture. Coal is who we are. And that's why I really appreciate my colleagues from West Virginia, David McKinley and Shelley Moore Capital. There are some states in this union that coal is their only job. And that's why they fight and they stand up for coal. I remember being with the late Senator Byrd on a rally in the mall, on a rally to save coal jobs. He held up his hands, he says, there's coal in these veins. This is Senator Byrd. There's coal in these veins. My colleagues and my friends, that's how we feel in coal-producing states in this country. It is part of who we are. It is our culture. Now, don't think this is a passe debate. There's a young Iraqi vet named Jimmy Rose. You may have seen him. He's 32 years old. He's also a coal miner. He's competing on America's Got Talent. And you know what his song is? His song is, Coal Keeps the Lights On. He talks about feeding his family. He talks about putting clothes on their, in the family household. He talks about that's their livelihood, that's their culture. It's an impassioned ballot for areas of our country that feel under attack, left behind, attacked by this administration. Mayor Deeds from McLeansboro, Illinois, is having a new coal is opening up. Coal is keeping the lights on in the small communities and the shops and stores for a community that's kind of been left behind for 40 years. He's excited about the jobs and the tax base that's coming because of coal. I'm asking you, my colleagues, to stand up for coal because coal keeps the lights on. I request that you reject this amendment and support the underlining bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back.